How's it going guys, it's Ninja Soldier here and welcome back to the channel, I hope everyone is doing great today. Now today on this channel I have got a movie review and um, today I'm going to review um, one, of the, one of the newest movies that are out, that Rich came out on Netflix and all that sorts of stuff. And it goes by the name of Army of the Dead. Now obviously, Army of the Dead is obviously a zombie apocalypse movie, which it has um, Dave Bautista, also formerly known as WWE Superstar Bautista. So he was one of the main characters in the movie, uh, alongside with the other characters and all that. So pretty much a zombie outbreak is happening and all that sorts of stuff, and they're trying to do whatever they can to survive, as in any other outbreak. Now, what did I think of the movie. Now I started watching it yesterday, I only watched half but I didn't watch it all. But I watched the rest of it today and I finished watching it today. Now what do I think of it? It was alright. I'm not going to say that, that it was the best army, best zombie uh, movie because of my own opinion I don't think it was the best zombie movie that was made. Because there's a, there's some stuff that I didn't like and there's stuff that I did like. Now for starters the zombies were just very strange in the movie because you see like zombies you know carrying other zombies which you do not see in any other zombie movie at all. So like when I was seeing that today I was just like what the fuck is this? Like what am I watching? You know like what sort of zombie is able to carry another zombie? I found that I found that like really strange and weird. Some sort of funny, but like in a weird way if that makes any sense. And it gets more strange, you know, later in the movie. Now and then, um, obviously, the all you know have a pretty much a brawl with the zombies and all that sort of stuff. Everyone, you know, getting killed, this and that and the other. As you know, and everyone dies in a goddamn apocalypse. You know who doesn't? Bush. Then later in the movie, there was like an all-out brawl. Obviously, at the start of the movie, you know, you see um, Batista. You know, she he has a daughter, and he had a wife, which was the daughter's mother, I'd say. And I think she that uh, she died or something, or wasn't it that he killed her or something, or did she turn into a zombie or something? I I don't I don't know. <laughs> but later in the movie, like it gets more strange. A fucking brawl happens, and there's like zombie animals and all, and you see the zombies writing on the zombie animals, and I'm just like, what the fuck is this? No zombie ever does this. Like, you don't see this stuff in any other zombie movie, you know? And, um, the zombies, though, I'll give them, give credit where it's due. Like, they make the zombies in this movie, like, overpower the human beings, which, which is fair enough. You know, like, you know, they want to have zombies that are strong, you know, and able to... You know, some sort of kick ass and kill and eat and bite, this and that and the other, blah blah blah, fucking blah. But later in the movie, then the brawl happened between, you know, Batista and the others again and the zombies. And, um, before the brawl happened, though, there was another guy who was, who was actually a complete dick. Um, they were all in a mission trying to find um, a woman who was locked away or something and trapped with a pile of zombies and they go look for. Her. And there was a guy then who, as I said, who was a major prick um, to Batista's daughter. I forget Batista's name in this actually, but I'm just going to say Batista. And um, later on then, at the beginning pretty much, or half Ray, your man dies, he gets shot by a blonde woman. And then um, that's how, you know, they introduced like some of the zombies and the zombie animals and all that. And um, after your man gets shot, I think one of the zombies, which was the zombie leader, you see him, dr you see the zombie leader dragging your man like, and you don't see zombies drag people at all. You don't. And I just, I, and I was just like, what, like, what is this? What sort of zombie movie is this? Who, which sort of zombie drags other human beings? And obviously then, and then a few seconds then he dies, and all that sort of stuff, and then, you know, the rest is history. Then the brawl happens, you know, between the humans and the zombies. I, w I already said this already. But now we can talk about the brawl. You see zombies dodging. 
which is also weird. And you see zombies fucking punching the humans, and I'm just like, what the fuck? You're meant to be zombies. You're meant to grab and bite and eat. You're not meant to dodge. Like, you, zombies are meant to be dumb, and the humans are meant to be smarter. But no, they actually made the zombies really smart in this movie. They really made them smart. And I'm just like, oh, here. Like, give me strength. Like, you like you see, like, zombies, you know, dodging their punches. And I'm just like, oh, what is this? And then, you know, other people die, like this and that and the other. And, um, the zombie leader. Which I like to say, the zombie leader, because he has to be the zombie, zombie leader, because, duh. Which is also strange, because there's no zombie, le zombie leaders in a zombie apocalypse. But, later on, Batista, you know, blows up a place where he tries to kill the zombie leader. Now, this is about the end, by the way. Um, they, well, before that happens, Batista looks for his daughter. So they go on a helicopter and they go in a building, I forget, I forget the name of the place, but he looks for his daughter. And a person then who got killed and shot by the blonde woman turned into a zombie and bites one of the women. Then Batista shows up, you know, tries to find Kate, which is the daughter's name, I think it was Kate. And the zombie leader is there, Batista tries to blow his own RP things, he killed him, this and that and the other. Helicopter comes back, tries to get Batista and Kate. But the zombie survived, and he jumps on the helicopter, he attacks Batista, I don't know, and he bites him. So Batista gets bit in the movie. And... Yeah, and the, hel and the, the driver of the helicopter gets killed. Helicopter crashes, Batista's bit. Kate looks for Batista, and Batista's all fucked up. Then... Which I actually was so shocked to see, because he's the main character, he's the main character in it. And they kill off a main character. Many main ca characters don't get killed off in a movie. They really don't. They really don't at all. Then Batista dies. And then Cage, you know, has to put him down. Because Batista turns into a zombie. Turns into a zombie real quick. Which is really strange. And then... Yeah, and then Batista dies. He gets put down by Kate. And boom. And then one of the other fellas, which is... Who was alive... He goes into her airport, she had a big load of money, goes to a different country, goes into the plane bathroom, in the in the airplane, airplane bathroom or whatever, or whatever you want to call them, and he notices a bite. Now he probably didn't know that he was bit, but the apocalypse was, was over in Vegas, and then your man goes over to another country, didn't know he was bit, so therefore another zombie outbreak will probably happen. Will they make another movie of this? I don't know. Will I watch it? I don't know because I wasn't too keen on this one. Like it was okay. If you people want to watch it, feel free to do watch it. But like as I said, the movie the movie was okay. But it it could it could have been better. It could have been better. Only point being is because they made the zombies really strange and weird and all that sort of stuff. So. It wasn't even that much of a zombie movie, and the zombies didn't even look like zombies. They just looked like regular humans, because they were able to dodge and punch. So, we just fucked up. But anyway, I'm going to end it now, guys. This has been the movie review of Army of the Dead. As I said, wasn't that keen. Would I watch it again? I, I doubt it. I don't know. But, as I said... Um, it's been your boy Ninja Soldier here. Leave a like if you enjoyed this little movie review and ev and if anyone is new, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get back to the 780 follows, guys, because we lost a few followers. So we're trying to get back to the 780 and then trying to get to 790, then 800. Okay, but anyway, it's been your boy Ninja Soldier here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If all, if all of you are new, hit the subscribe or follow button. And I'll see you guys on the next episode, stream, podcast, premiere, and etc. And she up. This video. I have two other videos on the channel. If you'd like to check them out, feel free to do so. And if you want to become a full member of the Ninja Soldier Army, make sure you hit the follow button. But make sure you do it the right way by watching the video, commenting, liking, following, and tapping the bell in that order so it'll be a legit subscription. Now, Ninja Soldier is now vanishing, and good luck to you.